Hello, my beautiful Aries. Welcome to 1111 Tarot. Mama D coming at you with your reading for December. Now, you might see my cord, which goes to my headphones, but that is how I mic in, so just ignore it. Let's get your energy in the deck. Now, all the cards that you're seeing are only major arcana. I pulled out the minor arcana as well as I removed all the court cards. And I'm going to get one card of a major arcana so I can understand in December what the major strongest energy is going to be that is coming towards my beautiful Aries. Let's get started here. Aries, month of December, strongest energy. Strongest energy for Aries in the month of December. Interesting. Yeah, I say interesting because Sag just got this. This is the tree of life. This is um, the wheel of fortune turning forward. This is a life lesson learned and now a fresh start. And it's like a renewal of energy. And the collective is, is overall getting this type of energy, but you and Sag get this specifically like a spiritual awakening to gifts, abundance, um, knowledge. This is a very good start. Let's go ahead and dig a little bit deeper. Now for you, Aries, I feel, I want to know what your mind is thinking in the month of December. So, wow, damn, you have, this is where your mind's going to be. It says Seven of Swords, and this person has got all these books from the library. And even though this is a sell on someone a little bit short, right? It's like they're leaving the library with a ton of knowledge from this event. And the wisdom gained is taking you directly to this beautiful Ten of Pentacle. This was like a catapult, like it catapulted you forward, this event. Feel this is the past um, that's pushing you now into this beautiful, magical garden of everything you desire. So it, it's kind of like the lesson learned, right? And you're moving forward, as I said, to abundance. This is um, your first your 11th house, sorry, your 11th house, which is your house of blessing, your house of support. And I feel like there was a time frame in your past where you didn't have the true support you needed, but it educated you quickly to some self-worth and you made a choice that has brought you to a beautiful place of harmony in your life of Ten of Pentacles. And now I feel like in December, you're feeling that Ten of Pentacles, that grateful, that thankful for all these abundant blessings and changes in your life for the better. Like you're embracing this full force. Let me understand your third house, your Mercury. Your third house is about sharing, order, um, just really communication, travel, experience. Knight of Wands, swift action. Swift communication. So something changed almost abruptly or will. There's some form of very swift communication coming in. And let's see how this balances things. Knight of Swords. Again, swift action. You're moving. You have a great deal of movement. And with that Knight of Swords, I was going to say a great deal of movement in December, right? So this Knight of Swords and this Knight of Wands. Those are two energies embracing swift action, swift movement. I want to understand a clarifier, and thank you. Okay, I was told to change deck. We're going to grab the enchanted map for you, Aries. Let me understand this. Swift action that's taking you to the Ten of Pentacles. This is an incredible read already. All right, Aries. Okay, I was told stories coming right here. Protecting treasure. Look at that. 
you have a treasure awaiting you. I feel like you've got a lot of it right now. Not a lot of it. You have a part of it. More treasure is coming. But you're going to have to protect it. See the snake in the grass? Stay away from that old energy. I'm putting it on the Knight of Wands. Some form of communication is going to come in and you're going to have to really look at where you've come and be like, no, 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 no. We're not going there. And that in itself is you protecting your future energy, which takes you to this treasure, right? This Ten of Pentacles treasure. Wow, Aries, this is absolutely a beautiful, beautiful reading already. I may have already said that because I'm impressed. It's a good read. I like it. Let's look at your emotional investment in December. Where are you going to be sitting for the majority of the month of December? How will you be feeling? Okay. <laughs> like you won. This is... I won. This is a chariot knowing you're on the right path. When the chariot is on this race, this driver doesn't have the reins because these little velociraptor type animals, I'm laughing because that's what I call my Jack Russell's velociraptors, are going to take you right to where you need to go. And you're going there now. It's been a long journey. But I do feel... With that Ten of Pentacles being in your support, that's incredible because that's your house of blessing. That means stuff is coming in. And it is a win. It is a good win. Now, let's look at your second house, house of value. What kind of Ten of Pentacles value comes into my beautiful Aries life? Four of Cups. It's all about education. You might be returning to school or studying something, getting more in tune with something. But at the same time, you almost feel like it's lacking some luster. And that's a feeling of, I value my blessings, I truly do. And when this person checks in, it's like a flash to the back, Aries. And you're like, oh yeah, I didn't have a mom. I couldn't even pay my bills back then. Dang, I really got it good now. So it's a reflective time frame that I feel you're going to go through when there's this connection. I say person, it could be from a job, a love, um, old family member, a child, a mother, a family member, you name it. But they trigger you in a sense to, to realize how far you've come. Two of Wands. Hmm. In your growth, you have this Two of Wands. This is a decision. And it's going to pull at your heart. Two of Wands is passion. And it's finding that there are two roads ahead. But you can choose one. Now you're familiar with one road. Is the path going to change? Is it going to be a better path? If you keep pushing through the grind of not getting reciprocated, well, eventually they reciprocate whatever this venture is. Or, are you ready for the new? Are you ready for the growth? Are you ready to embrace your blessings? Let's look at this past that's got this grip on you in some way. King of Wands. Very, very charismatic energy. This is like the devil in, in blue jeans and a white bro shirt. Mmm, nice. And low cowboy boots, right? This dude, or female, could be either, has played a big role in your life. Five of Swords, a fight to the death. This has been a struggle. It almost took you who you were. This person has transformed a lot about what you believe. But at the same time, I feel this person was jealous Maybe jealous that you were good at the job, maybe better than them, and they're the boss. Jealous because you looked better than they did. They were your best friend, but they were jealous. You just didn't know it. And then there was this betrayal, or it's a lover, right? Someone that thought you were always having an affair when you weren't. But it's almost as if it got to death's door 
um, whether that's spiritually a scorpionic energy of transformation where it just broke, something broke, or physically there was um, near death, like it got down to the bottom of the barrel, right? Whew. So you've shaken that off, and now Ten of Wands, you put the burdens down. You're making the right choice in December. And look, look at, look at, do you see it, my beautiful Aries? Look at those Christmas reindeer antlers with the lights on it. Christmas, Ten of Wands. Ten of Wands is overburdened, and this person is setting it down because they know it's not worth a haul. It's not worth it. You're worth more than that struggle. And you know it. And you put it down. And it's allowing something with that five of swords to pass away from your life. The obligation to feel obligated. All right, Aries, your energy here on the bar board, this is the experience in the material world. Seven of Wands, defend yourself, defend your energy. That's right. Where else did you have that defense? Protect, protecting treasure and seven of wands defending yourself. And you're powerful. A lot of communication. Universe saying protect it. Don't talk about how good you got it. Don't even... I, w I would be very cautious around this person. I would protect myself, my energy. Just saying. The spiritual success that Aries is going to have. Can you show me that for the month of December? For Aries, spiritual growth. <laughs> Two of Pentacles, this imbalance, where this person has had a soul contract, a soul tie to you. This is being cleansed out by the divine because you're allowing the cleansing. You're cutting the ties. Pisces energy, by the way. Twelfth house, all about your house of sacrifice. You're no longer going to sacrifice for this energy, this out of balance where you are constantly juggling for this person. Renewal, Scorpio. Your eighth house, Queen of Swords, house of transformation, Scorpionic energy. That could be legal. You may have got a I'm just saying, for one of you, maybe one of you, you got a restraining order. Someone, and this could be you, is making the choice to clear out this toxic energy that's very controlling. I just got this feeling of like your little red riding hood and this person keeps trying to pretend that they're grandma, but they're not. They're a wolf. And you're cutting it out. That's what's renewed, is you're living your truth. You're accepting it deep within, and you're moving on. You're set free, right? Contract null and void. Cancer, fourth house. This is all about your home, your family. What's going on? Six of Wands, victory. This is all for the better. Absolutely. Six of Wands is victory. And remember, you've got that challenge, that five of swords, fight to the death. You are the one that gains the victory. Look, the head of the monster has been removed. You tamed the beast within that was tempted by this, this um, jalapeno chocolate. <laughs> you were like, Oh, I've got to have more. I've got to have more until you're on fire. And you're like, oh, my God, my mouth is literally burning. I'm getting blisters. And you're like, I want to be done. And it took a long time to cool off. But you've cut the tie. It's done. It's over. And I feel like you are, like, like I said, almost like this person's energy, even in a dream, or you hear their name, something sparks you for a second. And there's a slight trigger to just a flashback, Aries, of, oh, my God, I can't believe I allowed that in my life. And you're like, look at me now. 
and it inspires you. You inspire you in the most brilliant way possible. And this is absolutely gorgeous. Let me understand here. You've got ancestors east. You have north, west, and south. This is your south node, north node. This is your midhaven. So the sun, it can rise in the east or the west, depending on where you live. This is your midhaven. Let's understand what's going on a little bit better with the west. This is more of how others see you. It's your passion, your inspiration, your exterior self in a sense that you, you know, there's the inner self that no one ever is going to see. And then there's the outer self. And this is the outer self, the outer soul. Listening. <sighs> Elephant. Pisces energy, by the way, in my intuitive feel, it's an eight. Intuitively, you broke, you've broken a karmic hold on your lineage. There's music floating up. This is the right frequency. Listen to that frequency. You'll know it because you'll feel it. It's not really hearing it. It's really feeling the frequency the wobble being removed as you step on solid ground. This has been a long, long time coming. Let me understand the Midhaven, where we're going forward from December. You have a little story. Stormfield, a nine. So it could be a little bit stormy getting through this passage. Goblins, a five. Yeah. So, this is like a tower moment, if you will. It could be them connecting and doing that trigger, whether it's a dream, like I said. Somebody says their name. I don't know. Maybe it's actual contact. But you realize there are goblins in the world that will gobble up your energy. And you're like, oh, no. And it is Thanksgiving when I'm recording this. So goblin, I'm thinking of a turkey. Like you're like, oh, hell no, that dude's a turkey or that, that female's a turkey. That girl ain't, for me, you know, kind of energy, Aries. Or guy. Goblins steal treasure, too. This is a treasure stealer that you, you've, and I feel you let go of them a while ago, but this is this pop-up energy. Oh, yeah, pop-up. Ooh, let's see what you have. Now, I do not take these in reverse, so don't worry. Slow and steady wins the race, right? It's a 12. You have been continually improving your life. This was a huge life lesson. Huge. Build of dreams, 21. You go from a 12 to a 21. The reflection. Wow. Field of dreams, you have something that you've been dreaming of. I'm getting that movie like, if you build it, they will come. So if you're creating something, if you're investing into yourself in a, in a wonderful way, the self-improvement, do not give up. This is all eggs here. A lot of eggs in the basket. And it's the field of dreams, right? And look, spark. You go from, you know, Listen to your heart. Yeah. Something's coming in that's going to spark your inspiration. Bring you to a place of really understanding which dream to pursue. And take you right to the Golden Palace. Dang, Aries. You got it going on. The Ten of Pentacles to the Golden Palace. You worked your butt off on this one. You went through hell and back. But you pulled it off. Let's check your south node and see what's going on for my beautiful Aries south node. My board gets messy from time to time. That's okay. You got to be fluid. Allow it to just come in. Aries south node. What did you get? Let's find out together. 
South node for Aries. Ancient oak spirit strength. Ancient oak spirit. You are an old soul. Very wise old soul. And I think you're just stepping into knowing and connecting to that higher self wisdom. This, this lesson was like a talesman from hell, but it, it, it built you to, or brought you, built you, right, created you in a way that was unexpected. That's absolutely beautiful. Oh, that south note, sorry. Spirit Guardian of Winter, Retreat. Oh, what a beautiful card, Aries. And we're heading right into the month of December. I think this winter, it's about just finding a comfort area and allowing the healing to take place. I don't think there should be any expectations. You've reflected enough and you know what's best for you. You've strengthened your discernment, Queen of Swords. You've put your burdens down, Ten of Wands. And, Aries, you've got your Ten of Pentacles coming up. This is, you've worked for this. And I feel you deserve it. Let's continue. I'm going to take, I haven't used this for any other read. But for you, I'm feeling like the North Node, we're going to go with the Good Tarot. I don't know why, but this is what came to me. Aries, North Node, got a story. Let's see what yours is. North node or Aries. The hermit. Yeah, go within. Go within. Heal. You have all the keys to the future doors. This message may trigger you a little bit. Like I said, to remember that you're thankful for how far you've come. They may call you, text you, try to communicate. But you're going to follow your own calling. You're going to follow your angel's guide. And as hard as it is, because this person may be in a desperate situation, but they're a gobbler, a goblin, and they create storms. And you need to listen to yourself. Remember, remember the moments where you stood there and said, I'm never going to let this happen to me again. I'm never going through this again. And then look around at all these blessings coming in for you. Aries, this is a good read. And I feel it's going to strengthen you and your resolution um, to really know your worth. You've got that Queen of Swords and that Six of Wands. You, my love, are headed to victory. I absolutely love that you allowed me to do this reading for you. I encourage you to share the love and reciprocate. Hit the like, subscribe, and the bell. I love you to the moon and back. Until I read for you again.